Well, people, a couple of questions. Why all the news related to foreign fighters from different countries that went to Ukraine to fight the Russians? Yes, they are mercenaries. And they're paid as mercenaries. They are not citizens of Ukraine. Most countries have laws against their uh, citizens going to a foreign country to fight for it. Uh, if I remember right, even the United States has a law against it. That it's against the law for their citizens to fight in a foreign country. But though if you go back into history, it's amazing how the government can function and operate on laws. We had mercenaries in World War II. Americans. They went to China, and they, uh, they were pilots, and they flew planes for China against the Japanese, basically by American law. They were breaking the law. But after the situation got going there for a while, and uh, they decided to take them out of China. They allowed all those people to uh, enlist in the uh, United States Army Air Force. So, like I say, we can make laws, change them the way they want to. But for most countries, actually, for most of those Americans, British, or whatever other country went to Ukraine. Russia has a legal right to call and treat them as mercenaries. Mainly because they are not citizens of Ukraine fighting in their military. So they do not come under the Geneva Convention. Actually, or any other law if you want to put it that way. So Russia has a right to line them up, find them guilty, and execute them. So this is a word for all you other people out there that feel like you want to be heroes. Well, keep that in mind. You're a mercenary. You do not get the benefits that a regular soldier would get from Ukraine. You're just I don't even know what the fee would be, but you're even paid just to fight. So, like I say, even Ukraine won't treat you like one of their own. So, get it through all your heads. Are you going to return home to the USA? Let your neighborhood and your state call you a hero? Friend, if you're caught or killed, <laughs> you sure as hell ain't going to come home a hero. <sighs> but Russia has a legal right to execute any mercenary. Just like any other country would have. It goes all the way back to the days of uh, Chad, Angola. Oh, there was a lot of mercenaries that went. A lot never really got punished. But they went there for one reason, just to fight and kill for money. But uh, this is mostly just to clarify a situation. Yeah, Russia could... Uh, 
use them for bargaining tools if it was to their benefit. But uh, when you look at their faces, do they look like tough fighters to you? No, they're just sick and scared people because they got caught and they could be executed. So you people look at those, if you're thinking about going, you people look at those videos and those pictures of those guys. See if you might want to end up like that or just flat dead. But anyway, that's my take on it. Everybody has a right to do what they think they ought to do or if they think it's right. I give them credit for that. But that's all I give them credit for. Uh, for that particular war with Ukraine, Russia, and that stupid clown of a Malinsky, Boy, but you notice, man, I can get all the country, countries wired with their... I can really get them to feel sorry for us, and I can really get them to come fight for us <laughs> and die for us. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, that's the way it goes, folks. I'm out of here to hell with it. <laughs>